Hello everyone and welcome back to Kayla's Corner. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and installing this unit that was sent to me by SVT Hair. If you guys are interested in the install process, if you're interested in what I have to say about this unit, you guys know that all you have to do is just stay tuned. Okay, so I already did the little ball cap method. I think next time I install the wig, I'm going to do the um, like ghost bong glue type method. But you know, I did the traditional way. Didn't show you all because it's what I always do. It's the same process as what I always do. So I'm about to put the wig on. So this is what she's looking like. I did go in and dye her because she was black. Okay, look at the video. Yeah, she was a little black, so I went in and dyed her. So she's she's okay. She's not what I wanted her to be, but she's gonna she's gonna do okay. I went in and bleached the knots, so hopefully we can get like a little nice install today. So I'm talking too much, talking too much. I feel like I don't want to do a voiceover, so I'm just gonna talk. We're gonna be using the Even New York Tinted Lace Spray. It's in the color medium. As always, going in with the handy dandy got to be spicy gel. Um, this works for me for the most part. When I use these, I can typically keep my install on for a week as long as I, you know, tie it down right and don't do too much sweating. Now, if I'm sweating, baby, like one time I had to move one of my kids, wig just lifting, okay? But if you don't do that much sweating and, you know, all the other stuff, for the most part, you will be good with installing your wig with this. Um, if you work out a lot, girl, go to the store and get you some gloves on. Because this one is not gonna work for you at all. But also, the good thing about this one is like you can just lift this mug off, wet it a little bit with some water. If you're tired of the wig, you just take it off. Look at, look at that. Quit, quit playing with them. Quit it. together a little bit. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. 
So for right now, we're gonna leave that how that is. Can't get this front together. Y'all see it look like it's Humpty Dumpty. And we don't want that. We want it to be flat. Flat. And also with this time, I usually put my um I usually put my adjustable strap on the largest setting, but this time I had it on the smallest setting. Just because that helps with um, giving it a you know a tighter fit as well. If it's too loose, it's gonna have all the extra space in it, and I don't want that. So that's why I just made it to the tightest setting possible. So yeah. With this hot comb, you want to make sure it's hot. So I had it plugged up before I even started my hair. But that's going to really get it. You know? See? Humpty Dumpty. Flap jack. Humpty Dumpty. Flap jack. I can already tell this is too thick. So we're gonna pull up a little. I think I'm done on this side. So we can try to get something going. So this is our side, so I'm gonna work on the second side. I'll be working on the second side off camera because the first side is not too good to be. I'll be back when everything is finished. all right you guys so that concludes this look and as always she is giving what she needs to give like getting to the look i'm obviously satisfied with the way this install turned out okay very much so so shout out to svt hair for sending me this wig just a little bit about the hair it is 24 inches um 180 density which makes sense because when I was flat ironing it and rubbing my hands through it, I was like, this is some, this is some thick hair. Like it's a lot of hair, but that makes sense because it's 180. It is 24 inches, so she's giving length. 
Okay. They came in the color natural brown or natural. Um, as you all can see from the video, it was not this color. I did dye it. Um, it's just because the natural color was just too dark for me. Like even compared to my natural hair, I was like, ah, that's a little dark. So I wanted to do it like this dirty brown color. Um, it didn't turn out like that because the first color I used was cherry wood and uh obviously cherry hints at red so it did have a little red in it um so i used two more box dyes to like get it a little bit brighter because the first dye didn't take it didn't look any different um so i'll just leave all of that in the description box below but overall i really do like this hair this stuff is the truth and it's gonna get your lace right um I like this better compared to using foundation or powder because I think this really does help uh, mask the dark knots. So yeah, overall, I do like the hair. I don't have like much to say about it. Um, the hair is really soft. Um, it was a little bit softer before I dyed it, but nevertheless, it is still soft. Um, overall, just really nice hair. So if y'all have any questions, if you all need any clarification or anything, of course, you can always leave a comment down below. As always, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see and talk to y'all in my next one.